Hi, I'm David McQuillan, a senior specialist on ATG's Reality Capture Team. Take a look at our footage from our recent Reality Capture Demo Day, where Jeff Landers takes us through how to modify data in Recap Pro so it's more easily digested in Revit. Again, here's our final point cloud. This is actually the photo, and this is the point cloud. And this is the final one for recap. And I broke it up so that we could go in here and turn things off and on. So if I want to turn the exterior off of it, all we see is the interior of the building plus the basement below. And this is just this is for recap. And then we have another deliverable, which is for Revit, which is greatly reduced in. We'll just open this. And, and one thing I want to point out really quick for those that have just joined this afternoon, what Jeff's showing here, um, this has all been done today. So the interior, the exterior of the house, um, all of this was, the scan was started when we started the presentation uh, at just after nine o'clock this morning. So what you're seeing here, none of this was done yesterday ahead of time, like our other presentations have been. Um, Jeff has just been working on this just today. So this is actually a unified point cloud. And I also have, these are singles uh, scans now. And so I also have it set up so that I can turn things off and on. I can take the exterior. And why did I, and I even did one for the roof so you could take the roof on and put it back on. And why did I go through all this? This is why. So the one for recap is the original with the pictures and everything. This file is 8.28 gigabytes. Now, imagine this was a thousand scans and that's uh, 250 gigabytes. That's going to make it difficult for your computer's graphics to keep up with inside your design software. But if I go back over here for the for Reddit, you'll see that that's down to 3.27 gigabytes. Plus, it's also separated in the different files. Excuse me, wrong one here that can be turned off, and all this information transfers over to Reddit for your design. So you can turn things off, and used to be able to, and you can see that there's 80.62 uh, million points in that scan. This exterior has. Uh, 31.98 million. That's a lot of points that if you can turn off, then Revit doesn't have as big an issue with the point cloud. So those are the two deliverables there. If we go into Revit, I've got a project open here. It's just an architectural template. I'm going to go into a 3D view and insert the point cloud in. Cloud, and it's already on the unified. I'm going to leave this center to center. If you're bringing multiple uh, point clouds in, it, there's a different way to load it, and that'd be for another day. But here, we'll bring this in. There's our point cloud came in real quick. Uh, I want to be able to set it to my project template. So in order to do that, and also show you how the point cloud is broken up, we can see here those different uh, views or status, whatever you want to call them, where I can turn it off and on. Because the exterior extend is in my way, and the exterior, I'm going to that. And now we can see the, in, the floor, first floor level of the building. And I want to move that to my project template. So I just select the link. I've got my level set up here. I'm just going to simply click, and you'll notice Revit uh, recognizes the point cloud and clicks to it or snaps to it. And then I'm just going to simply move this up to my level one in this template. And now that it's there, that's, that's the north elevation. We'll go into the west elevation. This is just to assure that it is uh, level. And so. We'll turn the same thing up in here. And this is view specific on what you can turn off and on. 
Is oh, really? Right? I mean, it just kind of highlights, uh, you know, kind of that necessity to, you know, if you do if you do that work inside a recap there, you're really, really setting yourself up when it comes to the modeling portion of being able to just more easily navigate that data within Revit instead of just bringing it all in as one chunk, organize it and recap and then bring it in and you can turn those things on and off like layers. Right, exactly. So then again, we're gonna to go to the first floor level since we set the level, we ensured that it was a level. And now we're gonna go in and turn some things off again in the first or level one view. And I'm going to turn the exterior extended. That's basically just for, you know, a site map or to see what things are around. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the exterior on. I'll just leave all of that on right now. I want to get rid of that. And so here we can actually see the floor plan of the house. 